Hello, Paul here again, and today I'm with Lynn, who runs the preserve section of the Loxton Show. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Paul. How long, roughly, have you been working in the preserve section? It'd be over 10 years now, because I started with my mum. 10 years yeah. in one section and moving from mother to daughter, that proves that there's a bit of commitment to the show there. <laughs> Just a little thing, the preserve section, what does it actually include? It includes your preserves as fruit, as well as your uh, jams, chutneys, um, pickles, sauces. There's a good variety of things. And you can make cold slaw and uh, mayonnaise as well. So um, there's a good variety of things for people to do. Very interesting. Okay. When it comes to jams, which this one is, mm -hmm. it should be filled to the very top of the jar, yes? Yes. yes. And it should not have this sort of lid when it goes to the shelf. No. It should have a cellophane Cellophane service. clear. All right, so how do you place the clear lid onto the jam? First of all, you just dampen this a little, just with a damp cloth. And then you just put it over there like that. Hold it down like that. And then put the rubber ring around there like that. And that's how it is presentable for the show. Now this clear stuff is cellophane, yep. that's available from Woolworths and places like yes. that or do you have to go to special jam supplies? No, Woolworths and, and IGA have those readily available anytime. Cool, alright. Now when it comes to sauces, which we've got a couple of here, mm -hmm. should we have the tomato seeds in our sauce or should we strain them out? <clears throat> yes, they need to be strained out. It um, doesn't look, for, when you buy sauce it doesn't have white pips through it. So when you do it for the show, it doesn't have white pips in it either. We make sauce and ours has white pips and bits of skin in it. It's probably called chutney, not sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Getting close. <laughs> now, when it comes to like the preserves with the apricots, for example, here, mm -hmm. the best way to get a prize is to actually stack them all nice and as neat as possible in there each time. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Some people do them just like I've got them here. Some people place them with the outside out. Just to decorate it up the way you want to, and it's just a matter of what the judges think looks nice. Now, with preserves, a preserve is actually fruit that's sitting in a sugar brine. Yes. That's been put in a boiling temperature for a period of time to make the lid seal, because yes. there's a ring under here to make the lid yes. seal. On. Yes, yes. So. It's about an hour and a half process to do it, bring it up to a certain temperature to start with, uh, and then it goes at that temperature for about an hour to seal it. Very good. Now, when it comes to marmalade, that is like a chutney or so, or is it more like a jam, but it's got big pieces of fruit it's in it? It's like jam. You just cut, cut your um, marmal oh, marmalade, <laughs> grapefruit in half and then slice it as thin as possible, or your orange or your mandarin or whatever fruit you're doing, as thin as you can possibly do it, and you don't chop it up into little pieces. Because the judges will tell you that's not a marmalade. It has to have a big piece. If you, if you buy a breakfast marmalade, it's got big lumps in it. Okay. Now, the difference between jams and jellies, I thought they were the same thing. But what is the difference between a jam and a jelly? A jelly is a clear. You can see through them. And the jams have pieces, they actually have pieces of fruit in them. Okay, so apart from that, there's pickles and there's chutneys, which are fairly self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. Labels on your products when you get them in there. <clears throat> Labels on our products are to be stuck on the front like that clearly. And then when you get your label to put enter into the show, it'll have a little... Um, you just put it on with a rubber band again to hold it in place so that they, um, the conveners know which section to put it in. So all that label should have on it is the variety of what it is, the yep. name of what it is. Yep. Do you put a date on there if you want to? Is that all right? Or That's okay if you want just to do it so you know your, your name, name on. No, no, don't put your name don't on. Don't put your names on. No. Okay, is there anything else we should know about the preserve section? Oh, I've got another little question. The difference between novice, intermediate, and then the preserve section, I gather, is okay. skills and experience? Yes, novice is the area where people have never, ever entered before um, and intermediate as soon as you've won uh, as soon as you've won a trophy in the novice section for i think it's two years now we've changed what it, what it mm. used to be two years then you move if you've got two trophies over a couple of years then you go up to the intermediate and likewise for the intermediate but at the at saying that you can enter in the open section 
any time you want to. You don't have to work your way up. If you think your produce is okay, put it in. We'll accept it. No problems. When it comes to preserves, I've got a friend that makes their own Christmas pudding and they put it in a preserving jar that mm. goes wider at the top. Yep. There's no section for that in your section. Do you have a any other not already mentioned or are you willing to have things that are different and unusual brought in? or? Um, yeah, because we do have an open section. There is an open section okay, in so there. So if people want to try... I've, I've had suggested to me too, why don't we have some... Um, dehydrated fruits and stuff but to mm. me I don't feel like that is actually preserves that's a different I think that'd go in the dried fruit section I reckon mm -hmm. so yeah but no that yeah I hadn't thought of yeah I, they used years ago they used to use those sort of mum used to do hers like that too yep with the Christmas pudding and stuff well, they make a big batch and that way they say yep. they can preserve it for a longer yep. period of time yep. yeah that's right Right, well, I think we've learned a lot about the preserve section. One other thing, just check the book when it comes to entering on what things are look like and how they should be. That's generally with all the show, but thank you very much, Lynn, for letting us know about the preserve section. That's okay, but always make sure when you go to check for the show, don't use an old book, because from one year to the next, some of the things may be changed. In lots of sections. In sections. Okay? Thank you very much. <laughs>